In the last few days, Meta had a very annoying problem with some pixels. Short description, events popping out of nowhere. Uh, these events were not configured on the website, were not on the, the website owner control, they were just fired by the pixel itself. And uh, I want to explain uh, why this was a bug. Um, I want to give you my side of the story, uh, the many messages that I got from our users and the many messages I sent to our uh, Meta representative. And uh, I also want to give you a few key advices of how to configure your um, Meta Pixel. There are a few settings inside the um, Events Manager that you need to have right. So, what happened? Sometimes, on some websites, the pixel, not the pixel code or the plugin installed in the pixel, pixel your site, in this case, was firing events, but not uh, correct events. These were purchase events fired on the checkout page, uh, lead events fired on some pages, uh, view content fired on product pages, but with no product information. Uh, the obvious issue was that these events were inflating conversion numbers because if you have all sorts of purchase events fired randomly or in the wrong place, you have too many conversions reported for your ads. Uh, these events have no parameters, no value, no product ID, no currency, nothing, nothing, nothing. They were empty. Uh, so again, unusable for retargeting, are usable for um, conversion value measurement, and unusable for uh, dynamic ads. They were just a bug. The first time I heard about the problem was when uh, a user reached to us and said, look, your plugin is doing something crazy. I have all these purchase events out of nowhere. And of course, I looked uh, at the website for a few moments or minutes I thought we have a bug, but then I realized that these events are not ours. Uh, our events have a complex structure with all sorts of parameters with an event ID. Uh, we send them browser and conversion API. These were only browser events. So I started to suspect that these are not our events. And I told the person to look in the events manager settings and make sure they have automatic events off. This is a feature that uh, enables the pixel to automatically fire events. And they confirmed to me that they have that option off. So why the pixel was firing events? Um, I started to suspect that this was a meta bug and I made an experiment. I, I told them to change the pixel ID with one of my IDs and suddenly those events were gone. So uh, for me, this was a very powerful proof that the bug was on Meta's side and related to some pixel IDs. Uh, I also tried with an, uh, the code, the pixel code installed, not with our plugin, but the basic code in the page header. And again, those events were there. Uh, so I told that guy and every other mm, client and user that contacted with the same problem to reach out to Meta and tell them that this was a bug on their end. Uh, of course, the first layer of Meta support was not very helpful. They answered that they cannot look into the issue because the pixel is implemented by a third party tool, pixel your site in this case. So uh, we should we should be the ones fixing the problem. They, they didn't understand that this was a meta bug. Uh, I actually have um, such a, an answer. So this is uh, a message from all, one of our users and uh, they, they show us the, the message from uh, meta blaming the third party tool, pixel your site in this case, uh, for the problem. Uh, I made this uh, threat on WordPress with a video, with explanations, with a recommended message to uh, send to the meta, su meta support team. Uh, but their answer was always like this. 
is not our problem. Check your uh, third party tool adding the pixel. Luckily, I was able to identify websites that were not using our plugin, but have the same problem. They were using Facebook for WooCommerce, a plugin made by Facebook and WooCommerce together. So uh, it was clearly not a bug with Pixel Your Site. However, Meta Support did and uh, understand this. At the same time, I bombarded my um, representative at Meta, telling him that this is a problem. You should look into it. Please raise it with the appropriate team. He told me that he did, and then I sent more messages with video showing the problem, with uh, screenshots and everything, with uh, IDs that I have for a pixel, pixel with the problem. Uh, I think the guy hated me for those days because I I really killed his inbox with the messages, but uh, the issue was real because users with this problem uh, had their ads ruined. But conversions were uh, over-reported. Uh, they, they had all sorts of messages about uh, redundant events or uh, um, conversion API events not duplicated because of course those events were, were missing key elements. That's what I did, I bombarded the, 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 met, the meta guy I, I have access to with requests. I think uh, I, he went crazy. Luckily, he, he still answers my email, so it's fine. Um, after a few days, today, I started to get emails from users that the problem uh, is fixed. Uh, I was able to check a few websites that I had access to that and had the same uh, issue. And yes, the problem is gone. So I think Meta fixed the problem. Now, what was this related? In the events manager settings, there is this option right here. Track events automatically without code. Once you turn this on, the pixel will try to guess if there is an action that should fire an event. This is helpful only, only when you cannot configure events by other means. If you are a Pixel Your Site user, you don't need this option turned on because our plugin automatically fires events correctly, tracking purchases, add to cart, form submit, all sorts of action correctly and with a large number of helpful parameters and with a conversion API integration. So we fire events while browser and conversion API. We have the duplication IDs for each event. Everything is set up correctly. With this tool, you won't have uh, the action correctly tracked. You can have redundant events for the same action because that's how it works. You don't have all the useful parameters that you need. You don't have conversion API. So you don't need this um, option turned on. You must have it off. So the problem was that uh, these events were fired even when this option was off. Now, my advice for you is if you use uh, tools like Pixel Your Site, but any other plugin that implements the Pixel and fires events, or if you configure your events with code because you want to control when events are fired, make sure that this is off. Otherwise, you will start to have redundant events. Another thing, if you use our plugin, uh, configure events only inside the plugin, not with the uh, event set setup tool from Meta, because uh, these events, again, have a limited number of parameters. We can track more, and uh, these events will not be sent uh, using conversion API. Our events will be sent using conversion API. Events configured with the uh, setup tool from uh, Meta will not. So another thing to keep in mind when using Pixel Your Site. Now, I hope this was not too long. Uh, I'm glad that the problem is finally fixed and I'm glad that I will not have my inbox uh, uh, full of messages about the problem that is not ours, but is on Meta's side. Uh, hopefully, their support will be uh, 
I don't know, more aware of their issues next time because blaming uh, the third party tool for something that uh, is not their fault is not nice and really it creates uh, a lot of stress uh, on this end of, uh, I mean, here, on right here. Uh, like, share and subscribe to our channel, it really helps.